All opinions expressed by the program participants are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Upscale Love for You. The program participants... Opinions are based on the information that they consider from their own knowledge. No expressions or accuracy is related to upscale love for you. <laughs> yeah. So, Chocolate Pearl, go ahead, that, girl. That was going to be mine. It's the, it's the telephone calls. I don't care what you say. You know, when you start changing your routine, that gets suspicious. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'm a good uh, cheat. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm a good cheat. Uh, I try mm -hmm. my hardest not to change my routine. Uh, mm -hmm. I can have a guy sit right there. I tell him, hush your mouth. The phone rings. Don't open up your mouth. You know, and then I'll talk on the phone like ain't nothing happening. Oh yeah, uh huh, yeah, okay, all right. You know, so you don't talk in do not change you up, Don't change up your routine, because once you start changing up your routine, then they start to get suspicious. You don't gave me too many. I need to take notes. Yep, yep. Don't yep. tell it. Don't tell don't it. Tell, no, no. Um, chocolate, chocolate pearl. pearl. Don't tell chocolate it. pearl. Oh, oh, um, oh, we gonna, we gonna go there. to somebody else. Chocolate Pearl giving too much. Ah, of, um, put out the too much <laughs> he giving out the secrets. That's, that's right? what happens is you you get to that point where you start to notice that their routine is changing. When their routine yeah. change, then you know, okay, something going on. But you can say that tell me, oh no, nothing going on. Or my phone. The big thing is my phone wasn't charged, or I left it in the car, or I left it at the house. Oh, I accidentally put it on silent. Those so. are my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> when it's what? consistent, you said that. Those. The dog ate my phone. <laughs> <laughs> when those are consistent, that then you know something's going on. And, and they say, let me call you right back. And then you don't get a call back until three or four hours later. Right. That's my favorite, too. Hey, I know that's not Danny saying all of this, man. I'm gonna kick him to the curb before he get to Hinesville. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that's okay. that's mine. That's a lot of sidewalks in Hinesville. What you? I ain't going there with you tonight, Dan. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, so who next? Who next? You, you. You're next, Doctor Fab. I'm next. Well, anyway, I'm a, I'm a people person to the core. And when I'm dating someone, all of the family members know Dr. Fabulous. So if I go to an event and one of the cousins say like, wait now, like they got a different look, like that's not the same person. Then that's when that antenna go off like, okay, who is that? What happened? Cause there's only one doctor fabulous. There'll never be another. And so when things like that occur, I feel like that's a sign like, wait a minute, who been to the family picnic or who been to the family reunion other than me, if we're supposed to be that, you know, couple, so to speak. And the main thing is, especially if they have children and they slip up and call you somebody else's name, you like, Oops, Helen, Marielle, darling, Marielle. Don't you forget that. Helen so been over. That That's when you know that things have changed and it's time for you to let that old long distance go like far, far away, unless they call them to pay for you a trip to go somewhere. That's that's when, you, you know. <laughs> I take a trip anywhere you want to go. I go. I, if you can, I'll go and I'm going to have a marvelous time. But I ain't going to talk about <laughs> nothing like that because I know my cousin saying, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. So I ain't going to say nothing. Tell say all your good stuff, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Tracy D. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So the, the only thing to this is um, signs are dangerous when misinterpreted. Like, right. Ooh, so it, no, they, you, they really, you. really are. And so I often, cause I'm, you know, I'm, I'm probably men think I'm mean, but I'm, if I have an assumption, we're going to talk about it. Like it's not going to go 
un unmentioned. So if I'm, you know, we're talking every day and every night, and then maybe the next week you're like, I can't talk to you after six. I, I, you know, I'm questioning that because mm -hmm. I, I've heard, I, I, and it happened to me where some dude, and this is where I felt real dumb, but whatever, some dude didn't call me back and we didn't talk for two days. And it turned out that somebody passed away. Here I am yelling. <laughs> we was talking every day and then I looked stupid. So the, um, it, signs are just real, real dangerous and misinterpreted. So we got to be careful not to make our decision on our interpretation, but then go for clarification. That's my, my point. But Tracy, can I comment on that? Mm -hmm. I was getting I, ready to say I, me and Tracy is definitely sisters. <laughs> I've, I've actually done that. Uh, well, I've done that before and that happened. So what I started doing is if they haven't contacted me in so long and then I wait a couple of days to call them back, I'll text them and say, um, I haven't heard from you in a while. I hope all is well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's way, what I say. Are you okay? Yeah. So that way they can tell you whether or not something happened and this is why, you know, they didn't call. But if they give you back some crazy excuse, then you go off. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I realize yeah. You can't, you're right. You can't take um, every little thing as a, 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 a they, you know, cheating or different, uh, excuse me, my brain's not where it's cold, it's really getting to me. No, and take, uh, taking different signals from that, because I noticed that our, the society today mm -hmm. is extremely jealous, mm -hmm. and especially dealing with social media. And so if you, you know, see a picture of social media and y'all long distance and you told me, Oh, I thought you was coming to visit me this exactly. weekend. But on social media, I'd have seen you with such and such and such. You that know. part. And then, then you know, for a, a lot of women do, like, let's just own this. A lot of women do this. And then it's sometimes, often it's our own insecurity. So we done started an argument and stuff. So, and he wasn't even doing nothing. Now, I'm not going to let the men just go scot-free because sometimes- Amen, 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 amen. But but I'm just saying in general, we, we, we often do that. And it's like you're saying, Chocolate Pearl, it could be social media. Okay, so you ain't calling me, but I see you liking pictures. Like, don't do that. <laughs> right. That's petty. Right. That's, that's, petty. That's, <laughs> that's what I was saying and when I was saying about the- how you gotta really i had to think you gotta really like analyze the situation don't mm -hmm. just jump off think about it you know think about you know because that person it could literally be like something happened right right and it's a way right. you know like they say is not how you um <laughs> it's just how you say certain things it's not what you say is how you say it you don't have to be combative all the time right, right? But like you know I said, what? You can just say, you can check on them and say, um, I haven't heard from you in a couple of days. It's, I hope all is well. Um, right. That way, absolutely. You're not jumping to conclusions, and, but exactly. you're still trying to sound sincere that you're trying to find out what's going on with them. And, but you know, now, if, if they grandma done died eight times, that, that'd be a clue. <laughs> well, see, now <laughs> you're supposed to make sure that you write down how many grandmas. Exactly. I'm like, right, so right. Silent. <laughs> see, listen. <laughs> So y'all laughing, y'all get that angry black woman. I I wrote a very mean text message, and how about the man daddy passed? And I had just wrote the ooh, and you know you right. can't retract what you sent in a text message. And I was like, oh my god! All I could do was apologize because I was thinking something else. And in actuality, he was at the emergency room and his father passed. And I just felt so bad. I couldn't do nothing but apologize. So ladies, we got- So yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the little note that says, hey, are you okay? Or hadn't heard from you, you all right? Not even digging in boxes. Okay, Miss Millie. I'm not the house, not y'all. Um, That's why y'all got the label. label. I need you that to mute Sabrina. Sabrina. Hey, I know to massage their fingers in my hands. Douglas, what, what was Douglas trying to say? I, and I, I said, that's why y'all got the label of angry black women. Exactly. I, see, now I agree with that piece. For that, for that for that piece. You don't agree with Douglas and Anson tonight? Right, Chris? that's why it's storming oh my in gosh. Virginia. That's why it's storming That's why I know it's hell and some rain rocks and hit what, your house. What's, what's, in, your, what's so in your raspberry so tea, so right, Billy? <laughs> What's in your raspberry tea, Tracy? <laughs> you didn't agree with both D Douglas and right. Anson today. Oh, I'm about Woo. to drink a sour. I feel icky. <laughs> 
Look, Tracy's in school twice in my book. Wait a Lily minute. Had her hand up. Lily. what I do? <laughs> you scored twice. I gave you two touchdowns. So All far. right. <laughs> All right, Miss Lily. You had your hand up at one point that you wanted to say something. I was just saying that you, one way you can tell when it's going bad, as everyone was saying, the phone calls drop, the visits stop. But then at the end of the day, they still want to tell you, but I'm still taking care of you. You can send oh, all the girl, cash, oh, all the, oh cash, goodness, all the money yes. you want. Yes. But at the end of the day, when I want you and your time, it's come a point where the same cash you kicking out the same way you're taking care of me, somebody else will do. Right. Exactly. So your your presence is your the presence. presence. When right. your presence get start getting exempt, Mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. exempt you can't call me your woman no more because at this point i've told you i'm not your woman you can do you can say what you want to say but at this point when i decide to move on you can't say you wasn't told right right now if you still want to send those financial contributions i'm not gonna turn nothing down but my car oh, right right okay? right <laughs> but, but you've been warned keep it moving but you but i've told to you so when you see me with someone don't, don't come hollering at me, nigga. You don't know me. <laughs> that would be the same. Or a guy, you don't know me. Sorry. <laughs> it slipped. It slipped. That's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You Douglas. Had, you had it right the first time, Millie. Douglas. <laughs> Danny yeah, had his hand up also. I didn't see Danny's hand up. But yeah, go ahead, Douglas. Up and then he took it oh, down. my hand was up. I forget it. <laughs> oh, my man. So I just wanted to know what's the topic for this evening, so I can go straight stray off of it. Long, Long distance, distance relationships. Nineteen eleven. Are oh, you actually the side boo? Are you actually the side boo? I don't do those though. So. Okay, Danny, what 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 were you gonna say, hon? Now I was just gonna say when relationship changed with the long distance phone calls. I actually seen somebody one time I was dating long distance. And you know, when you first meet and they put your name, Danny, whatever. My name was Exit last time I seen her. <laughs> Not dog. <laughs> Not the exit. 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 Deuces. Don't answer. That's what you put. Don't answer. No, Dr. Fabulous. You put DNR. <laughs> Do not no respond. Way. DNR. Do not resuscitate. <laughs> See, see, but I, I've been known as pizza to some people. Or Pizza Hut. <laughs> Why? Yeah, what? I was I was a side. I was like I was like an order of fries from McDonald's. Oh, you was just a side piece. I'm done. Yeah, but I didn't know. I ain't but know. know. How did how did you know that you would how did you know that you were the side piece? Because when I called the phone and it popped up five feet, if I it popped up Pizza Hut. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, you get now that three o'clock in the morning after the, the club the call. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you get that call three o'clock in the morning, drunk from the, from the club. You get that, uh, my girls is out with their girls. They with their man now come over. Yeah, that's how you know you decide. You ain't hitting the main. Oh, that's how you know too? Okay. Yeah, I know too. So wait, what you trying to say? Hold on, what you trying to say? Hold on, wait. Yeah, I was, I was known as a 158 guy. You know, most clubs close at two o'clock. So <laughs> <laughs> they hit me up at, at 158 talk about what you doing. Where you at? Make hey, sure you get your phone good. When my call come through, you know the move. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Dr. Oh, I was about to say Dr. <laughs> Millie. All right, Anson. I can't really uh, relate to the question because I don't know what it's like to be a side piece. Mm. But <laughs> I would you say you Google me. You should know. <laughs> I you don't know what you're missing, Anson. If you are a side piece, then typically you should be. You would be. You should be cool with it if you're in that position. You know what mm. I mean? Yeah, but how? Why would you be cool if you're in that position when you didn't know that you was in that position? Right. And, I think that you should have every right to know if you're going to be put in that position. Right. If well, you tell me I'm the side piece, okay, fine. You give me the I'll choice. I'll play my role. I'll you you, my you role. give me the choice to be the side piece. But right. if you tell me, hey, I'm I'm the girlfriend, but then I realize that I'm the side piece, that's right. totally different. Well, that's just deceitful. You know, that's 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 what 
what Malik was saying a couple weeks ago about the decisions you make. So once you get the inclination that you're a side piece, you're either going to stay and be a side piece or you're going to not be a side piece. I don't have no problem being a side piece. So once I got the inclination of being a side, or once I've gotten the inclination of being a side piece, I'm cool with playing my role. I'll be the maintenance man. Okay. Okay. Anybody else, what are some signs that you are the unknown boo or the side piece? Mr. Malik? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, um, Dr. Seductive. Um, I, I think like it's the way some... you say my name. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> I, I, think, I, think, I, think, um, I think it's different signs. Um, I agree with a lot of things that y'all were saying in reference to uh, the distance you're gonna what you was getting you're not getting anymore and uh that, that that's pretty much a give and take I wasn't never in that situation it was like I had those like I, I told y'all many times before so I had I wasn't never one but I had others in line like that mm. and um it, it was it, I had some good times you know I had some good times I would think that one, another way you would know, and this is my final one before I go to the next question, is if you don't know anybody in their family, like you've never met their family or their friends. Okay. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, facts. like you've never met their family or their friends. I think that yeah, would be like. Hey, when I come through, I come through and everybody gonna know who I am. And then somebody slip up and say something different. It's like, okay, I got, we'll discuss this later. Okay. Ms. Tracy, Tracy D. Hand is up. Tracy D. Yeah, I'm back here cracking up because I just it just reminded me of something where this guy clearly didn't know his role, but I clearly communicated it. And I, <laughs> I can hear him now. And he was like, why don't, and I'm trying to get this out without stop, without laughing, but he was like, um, I like to go out too. Why don't we ever go out? Why don't you ever take me? Because the only place we, you know, was his house. And so, you know, he was wondering right. why um, he didn't get to do other things with me. So he clearly knew his role, but then forgot it because he, you know, caught feeling. So he oh. probably knew he was a, a side piece. He wanted to be in third. He wanted to be at third base, but you, but you had him in left field. He was out. Right. Of position. He was like, "Well, I'd like to go out," and I'm like, "That's not what you was, you know, here for." So there we go. Boom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tracy, you know what? On MTV, they now have this new show, like how they had Catfish. They have this new show on MTV, telling, trying to find out why they're keeping your relationship. A secret. Right. Mm -hmm. Have you all seen it? It's on MTV. Check I didn't it know out. MTV still exists, so no, I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably all yeah, right. You probably didn't see it. Okay, so my my last question for tonight is: What are some ways to build trust in a long distance relationship? Because we've talked about um, <laughs> trust being an issue. So what are some ways to build trust? Danny sounds like he really wants to answer this question. So go ahead, Danny. I said move in with him. That's it. <laughs> ain't, oh, no way, ain't, no, ain't no other way to get around that. That's no, it. we got to have something better than that. I don't have nothing better than that. <laughs> I don't have you move in with them. Them. The only way you they can trust somebody is live with them. Women don't trust nobody. Like, come on now. When you we still still live with still got trust you. What happened? When you give us a reason to I trust you. We trust until you give us a reason. Right. I'm going to move in with your ass. Look. Okay. You move in with me. If I still want to cheat, I'm going to cheat. That's what you I just, just said, Miss Millie. I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just over it. I'm, I'm to the point. You and you and you and uh, Chocolate Pearl, y'all are something else, boy. We are not <laughs> cheaters. We just what do what we have to do. It's called phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for everybody. Everybody that has a side piece. Can I can I see a raise of hand who has a side piece? Oh no, you didn't. You will never get no. that. Why not? Niches Why not? Niches. <laughs> All right. So my oh, question, no. my oh, question no. to the Dr. people. Dr. Feel good. Say he that got, got a side no. piece. Look, Dr. Now, Pearl got a side piece. So it was a question. It was a question like uh Rosie Palmer. Side pieces don't know their place or they never met family or friends. Nine times out of ten, they ugly as hell, but they they service well. Oh, well, okay. well, that's what I was well, going to say. Well, okay, okay, okay. I would uh, Danny, say you might have, you might have a point there. Uh, Tracy, just quickly, was that the, was that the issue? 
Oh, he, he definitely had, yeah, absolutely. That was boom. There we go. Now, absolutely. see, wait, 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 wait. Lady see, I knew you was a gangster for a reason. I like Tracy. Hey. Tracy, Tracy is That's a gangster. My girl. No Tracy. cut cards. I don't care. <laughs> You're my sister by another mother. But you know what, ladies? I just can't get down like that. I can't, that ugliness or whatever, whatever. Dr. Fabulous, I, cut I it out. But no, my pieces I, aren't ugly. I agree with you. I don't do. I can't do ugly because I can't. I can't do because I can't even see somebody up in my right. face like I that can't fake for a, a long feeling. period uh-uh. of time. Like, I, mean, you, I need to be. A I mean, they ain't got to be in your face. They can get it from behind. Um, and yeah, there you go. There you go. See, uh, I like you listening. too, Doctor Seductive. See, I like the people that keep it real up there. All right. I love that kind of talk. <laughs> Y'all, something else. <laughs> Doctor Fabius, you ever heard of a brown paper bag? They join my fall off, though. They join my fall off. Uh, exactly. Talk about, yep, and then yep, you know yep, what? Yep. If if you do it real good, then they want to come back for seconds, and you don't want to be bothered. And it's like, first of uh-uh. all, first of all, hold on, wait a minute, stop right there. You always supposed to do a real good, ugly or not. Leave your mark. Yeah, ugly. Leave ugly. your mark. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing I nothing. Do no, what, mm-hmm. what, I ain't gonna what, say what ugly person. Look like we got a bunch of I stand by this brand. I stand by it. You can't, you can't duplicate this. Same by, same no by life, <laughs> okay, Anson, I'm sorry. You choking mm-hmm. down that train. Bring your throat, Dr. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anson, go ahead, baby. All right. Please refresh the, uh, remind me of the question again. What are some ways to build trust in a long distance okay. relationship? All right. Easy. I, I'll come with the simple answers tonight. Just do what you say you're going to do. That's the only way you can build trust with someone is that you do what you say you're going to do. So if I, t- if I tell you I'm going to be in your town next month, then next month I need to be in your town. I put oh, in reservations. I Don't give him that touchdown because he told me when he came to Savannah, he was going to give me some cougar meat. So don't give him that touchdown. Oh, oh look, damn. Now, since you want to put it all in the open, I I I damn so it, Rick. Okay. Answer, you renege. Um, Answer, you renege. No, I didn't renege. I was right around the corner. This is being recorded. Um, Go ahead. Um, <laughs> um, let me just go ahead on and pass it on to Dr. To, um, Chocolate Pearl. <laughs> Yeah, they called us off guard. Choked up over there. What's going on? Is it hot? Is it hot? said, do what you say and say what you mean. Hello, hello. Y'all right around the corner. I'm playing, y'all. Y'all know that. (laughs) But I I, I do agree with Anson. I never thought I'd say it too, but I do agree with Anson that you have to do what you say and say what you're going to do. Yes, I agree. Yes. And and a part of that also, and and y'all know I'm big on this, is transparency. Like, be transparent. Don't make me have to guess. Tell me what I need to know up front. So right. I don't have to guess. I don't have to worry about it. Right. If, yeah. right. You know, if if me and Anson are, you know, thinking about seeing each other, I'm going to tell you, hey, look, I, I'm kind of crushing on Anson. So, you know, do what you do. That's right. He said he wanted to devour me. You ready? You ain't ready to handle it. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm all back of all my words. Everything all right I say. Now. All right I now. Okay. okay. Not tonight. All right. Catch it. Catch it. <laughs> <laughs> it Nikki, we turn. haven't heard from you tonight or Kendra. Y'all got anything Kendra to say? Kendra don't play with the side pieces. Next subject. Yeah, basically. <laughs> my cousin, no, I don't do the side piece thing. Long distance. I don't, that's not for me, but I'm enjoying the conversation now. Look, right, told you. Right. Nikki, what about you? You said you had a long distance relationship. Yeah, um, I'm totally agreeing with what everybody's saying. I'm enjoying the conversation. Okay. So if, if there's a question that's going to come up, I will answer. All, all right, all right. right. And don't forget okay. Kimberly and Douglas. All right, you better get yours because I'm going to get mine. Ah, <laughs> all right, Bernie, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. Over to all you, right now. I want to know this. How long can you hold on to a long distance relationship once you find out you became the side boo? What are you holding on to? All right. Yeah, pieces. What are you holding yeah. on to? 
How long do you think that you do you still want to be a side, a long distance side boo? Not nah, at all. When you when you come it's into town, or when I come into town, that's it. That's it. There ain't no that's it. nothing. That's it. Yep. That's, right. that's something now. Don't get me wrong. I I've been a side boo and I actually liked it. I I didn't mind because it was less responsibility. I only seen them when they came, and and I was good. I didn't have to communicate on a regular basis. I you know. I, I didn't have to feel guilty when I start talking to somebody else. I still got my finances settled. You know, it it, it worked for me. So what so you're saying, Chocolate Pearl, it was party. something like I said, you got a travel concierge and where they pick up, take you, do things, you were fine with it. That's what you yeah. had, a travel concierge. Gotcha. Right. I, I didn't mind being a side boo. But okay. some people, once they, they thought that they are side boo, do you really think that you will actually want to transition to that and stay in that relationship? Or do you say deuces? I, I think it just depends. Like, you know, if it's a long distance relationship and then you have somebody who kind of that you're kind of seeing locally, you might keep, keep them and be the side piece. There are okay. definitely some benefits to being the side piece. Well, everybody but everybody long here. distance side pieces, their benefits, yes. Yeah, there definitely be some benefits. In yes, some cases, there is benefits. They like God children. Like they come and go when you like you, you send them back home. Yeah. 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 Uh, but what if you did what if oh. you my thing is this, what if you were the main person? Or you thought you were the main and, and you then you thought you yeah, you thought you was the main person, or you were the main person and then you got turned into a side boot. Once you discover that you are the side boo, do you want to remain the side boo or do you want to say deuces? This is what you do. Again, you I think it drink. depends on the this benefits. This is what you do. You get a drink, you play Carl Thomas Emotional and you think about it. And however you feel <laughs> after you play that, that's how, that's what it is. All right, answer. No, I, I fully agree with what Dan just said. Um, but I, I was going to say, it all depends on the nature of your relationship. What's yeah. what is your relationship? You found out you a side piece, and now you upset for what? Does it change what y'all were doing? Does it change what y'all had going on? Because if yeah, I wish <laughs> I never met her <laughs> at all. <laughs> Does the relationship change at that? Danny, point? don't give up your day job, baby. <laughs> you know, so I would. My answer to the question would be. It depends on what your relationship was to begin with. Now, if you wanted more and you found out you're a side piece, then yeah, it should be over. But if y'all was just, you know, whenever so and so in town, y'all get together, what does that change? Okay. okay. Douglas. Uh, well, I was gonna just I was just thinking that um maybe you jumped into a, a long distance relationship because there was no local option. And so now you got a local option and you find that you decide piece, then you you know the local option become moves up a peg, but you keep that out of town stuff. I agree. But my second thing is oh my <laughs> Ooh. get it from the back. Oh um <laughs> I was like, what kind of relationship show is this? Yeah, I'm talking about side pieces. I thought we was into a, a great and healthy, but not just relationship. Side piece, side piece is a relationship now. It, it is still a relationship. It's still a relationship. A uh, healthy one-on-one. -on -one. No, that is a nice, healthy relationship. Douglas, where you been? This is two, <laughs> but two man. Well, I don't like all that. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Miss Douglas, Millie. you're a nice old host, you young one man. One you want woman. Me. You don't want me. There you go, Douglas. We're going to find Okay, well, I don't want you, me. Douglas. So we could... Douglas, your new name is oh. Dougie Poo. <laughs> and if the ex is listening, I want my name back. Oh, wow. <laughs> God, dog. Um, Miss Millie? Uh, Miss Millie? <laughs> well... Sometimes a lot of people, and it could be some people on here, it may not be you, but a lot of people are side pieces and don't know they're side pieces at the same time. That part. Right. Ting, ting, ting. 
but it's better to know you're a side piece than not know it and let you, and you have the right to decide if you want to be that side piece or not and yep. My point if exactly. you know you're the side piece and if you know you're getting too many feel too much feelings involved cold turkey it cut it off and let it go because if he have if he's with someone if he's been with her this whole time it's likely oh, he's he not going him. anywhere so the best nope. thing you can do to um, save your emotions is let cut it off and let it go but don't sit here sometimes some of us we as people sit here and act like we goody two shoes and we are not the side piece you are and don't know it in a yep. lot of cases you preaching right. tonight, Millie. You preaching. Amen. Now, somebody might Christ. not like what I said, but that's their choice. But now, love it. Love that's it. my opinion. And that's I've seen right. it. And there's some numbers out there for that. Dr. Feel Good might pull them up for us. Yes, sir. Now, now, this is um interesting. I hear a lot of women talk about they want uh, transparency and open communication and everything. But have you told the dude that uh, you know you in second place? This is um your, your job. Yep. Or, or do you just let them believe what they believe and be like? No, we, we no. But that's we tell that's them. basically what the question was about. Once you find out that you are no longer the main piece and you became the side piece, do you continue in that relationship? That's what but, I no, was but, asking. But, see, but but that's not the that's not the question. You said that was like, the question. I'm the one that asked it. <laughs> I, no, I asked. I asked. Do you tell them they're the side piece or not number one? They what know that before about, they come in. No, yeah, they, they, they know that before they even get in. Listen, what she just stated it was like. Oh, so the question was like when you find out. That means you did not tell them. Well, Douglas, okay, okay, I hear what you're no, Okay, I understand. All right, hold on. Now, the, the the question was, um, how long do you hold on or how long do you stay in that relationship once you found out that you became the side piece? So you may not, so you, you didn't start out. So you think it in your mind, in no, your no, relationship, no, no, no. that it's okay. a, listen, 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 no, that, listen, that Linda, I listen. I Look asked, do you tell them? Listen, listen. Ask and answer, Doug. Well, I that's said the yes. thing. I said yes. At this point, for this question, at this point, you found out. So whether you found out verbally from them or you just accidentally found out. Okay. Do you that stay in that, that relationship or do you keep moving? That was the question on the table. But then I asked another question. I said, yes, do you Douglas, tell them? they tell them. They tell no, them. They don't. <laughs> Oh, yes, they, they do. Why are you asking a question? You're then why you ask a question? To? Right. He don't know anyway. He said he don't do it, so it shouldn't even be relevant to him. <laughs> Tracy, <laughs> sweetie, give us enlightenment with B, your wisdom. Line. And then that's when you become a B, because you didn't say it. Wow. You know, be Tracy. Careful with, be careful uh, with that. I would suggest you be careful with that. No, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I'll just be nice and say it the B word. Mm -hmm. Tracy, and then that kill. being said, I'm gonna have to go off of this show because I know my mouth. I'll talk to y'all. Yeah, later. listen, listen. I was about to tell y'all. Don't leave, don't leave, girl. Don't leave. Let's get him right. Y'all gotta get him right because y'all don't. Right, no. don't Douglas, know. Douglas, 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 okay. Douglas. Bye. You want that smoke with these ladies every week. You boy, you play with fire. <laughs> he can't handle it though. He can't handle it. I got him. I got him. He can't sit there and call nobody no B. Who he think he is? He ain't all that in a cup of tea. He need to sit down somewhere before I say what I really want to say. All right. I had to calm that thing. I had to calm it down. We're getting two rambunctious up in here. Uh, chocolate pearl, go. All right, so we're going to ask Tracy to give enlighten us with her wisdom. And then Kim, Kim Donald is the one who came up with this topic for today. We would love to hear from her. So go ahead, Tracy. I was straight on mute talking. I just want to be clear. So if you were in a relationship, Chocolate Pearl, just say your question again. I just want to make sure that I answer it correctly. Go ahead. Okay, the question was, hold on, my phone and blacked out on me. How long can you hold onto a long distance relationship when you discover that you became the side piece. Okay, so, okay, now I remember my answer. So I, I make, personally, I make sure I go into any interaction with people in general or relationships with a win-win, right? Because I selfishly want to make sure that I'm okay. So if, if I found that I, that I was the side piece, 
I, and if there were winning components of that relationship that I wanted to hold on to, be it the D, be it the friendship, be it whatever, I would weigh my pros and cons to that. So it would right. be, and I think Anson said it a little bit, um, if I could accept a singular role and not the whole relationship and still be mentally stable, I would do it. But if I didn't, I would cut them off cold turkey. So it, it would have to benefit me. My decision would have to benefit me. Right. Thank you. I mm -hmm. love that. You're just going to give us a whistle. Now, Kim, or is it going to be Dawn? Which one? Or both? Hey, hey it's, it's Dawn. Hey, cousin. Well, it's both of us. It's both of us. Um, I was just saying, if um, I discovered that I was a side piece, um, thinking that I was the the only, I, I wouldn't stick with it because that's not... Um, that's not what I went into the relationship for. You know, if right. I'm in a relationship and I think that it's the two of us and I discovered that it's three of us or four or what have you, um, that, you know, that's not, that's not what I signed up for, you know? And so therefore I, I would bow out of the relationship. I mean, because I, I feel like it definitely at that point being the trust is gone, right? Because if you signed up, trying to be the only one now if they came into the situation like okay well when we get together we get together then then that's a different understanding from the beginning but if you find out later on that it was all just a lie unless like Tracy said it's a situation where you can get out of it whatever you want to get out of it and move on and you just I don't know placeholding until you find something better exactly now, I mean, <laughs> yeah if you just placeholding until you find something better then yeah, then good make word. It what it is. Just don't don't get your feelings hurt. But you can't. I can't. I don't think you can springboard into something serious after the the trust has been broken. For me, I can not springboard into something serious after the trust is broken like that. At that point, it's just it is what it is. Right. I like the fact that you said that the trust has been broken because once you thought that you was a main person and then you became the side chick. Um, that trust right there was broken, period. Because right. I'm thinking yeah. everything all honky dory, every you right. know, we still love each other, but then you just got somebody inside and put them in my place. Right. So should I stay so, or should I to, not? And to piggyback on what Douglas was saying earlier about would you tell the person that they're that, you know, that they, you know, that there's somebody else. If I was in a relationship and I and I um you know, became interested in someone else, then I, I, I would make have, you know, I'm very binary. It's either or zeros and ones, you know? And right. so I'm the type of person, if I found myself interested in someone else, I'm not going to string this other dude along just so that I can, you know, um, you know, a lot of people do it to see if that, that second relationship is going to work out or not. But I'm all, you know, I'm the type of person I always felt like I yeah. would do unto others as that as I would have them do unto be to me. And I've already stated that I don't want anybody to, you know, to put me in a position where I become a side piece. So therefore, however, comma, I wouldn't do that to someone else. So I would make a choice. And, you know, and I would I would bow out either bow out of the original relationship or I wouldn't pursue something else while I'm in a relationship because that's, that is, um, in my opinion, that, that is, um, wrong. Thank you, cuz. I woke up, I was in, I, I woke up, I woke up to say that, so I'll probably take a nap. You woke <laughs> up to say that? <laughs> Thank you so much. For both of y'all, appreciate it. Miss <laughs> Millie. You got to go on mute. Take you off of me, baby. Sorry. I agree with Kimberly as she was saying, because sometimes when you are the side piece, in some cases, um, I've seen people say that they know they're going to be able to get him to change and take them and they be his all. But if you're not his all going in as a side piece, nine times out of 10, you're not going to be his all later on. So once you get your feelings intact, the best thing to do is walk away. Right, right. I I, I agree with both of you. And, and I think that was Dawn that said that where, um, you know, when you become that, you just, people hold on to that relationship just to see if, well, if I hold on to her or him on the side, 
and mess with this person. Let's see how long this is going to last. Because this don't last, I can go back to her or him. You know what I mean? And I, I get that. That think that's how side pieces was developed is the fact that they holding on to something that you know you know you no longer want that person to be that main piece any longer. So you put them in a side piece position, and then you're dipping and dabbing for main main people. And then once you dip and dab for the main people, you be like, okay, well if this doesn't work out, I I still got my pocket right here. You know what I mean? But some people don't want to do that. They just want to let it go. So they do. Anybody else? Anybody? All right. So since nobody else have any other comments, uh, today was a wonderful, um, kind of exciting, a little, little frustrating, a little uh, interesting. Um, we got people who have not agreed with each other and agreed with each other. <laughs> Uh, Anson is on point. I'm telling you, that's because he's seen us box box the latest. You get a touchdown, <laughs> Anson, today. Yeah. You get a Ooh. touchdown. He done, seen the real, he done seen the real people in person and his brain just, you know. <laughs> yeah. He released that rubber band from the bottom and let it go up on the top. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was good seeing all you guys. It really yes, was. It was. Yes, it was. It was. Yes, it really, really well, was. Well, I'm going to hand it over to um, Dr. Feel So Good with his case study. Before you get started, Dr. Feelgood, I just want to say something to everyone on the panel. Sometimes we get a little heated and we say things we really don't mean. And when I say be respectful in all means, whether you call it a cat, dog, whatever, whatever, just be mindful that everybody's opinion is just what it is, an opinion. And when you start calling names and saying things like that, that can be very <clears throat> demeaning, hurtful, and then it'll take over to another whole different level. So let's not do that. Let's all stay respectful adults because we're here to have fun and to conversate. Okay. Now, Dr. Feelgood is all on you. Thank you for having me, Dr. Fab. Um, this oh, is Dr. Okay. Feelgood uh, coming at you with the case study. I don't, I'm not going to use slides today. I'm just going to talk. What? No slides? Long, long distance. I, I describe long distance as anything over an hour drive. Um, some, some people do an hour drive with going to work and stuff, but an hour drive is usually what a normal person would do, especially in, the, in this time of this gas prices. So three out of five relationships since 2020 have been long distance. Does anybody want to figure out why? Because of the gas prices? COVID. That's part of COVID. It. COVID. 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 I'm being funny. COVID, COVID has caused a lot of people to reevaluate what it means to be in a relationship. Now you have people who, who've been, who ain't never met, but they in a relationship. They sext, they they um chat, they email, they talk that ain't every no day. Real relationship, <laughs> but that's but no, no. A relationship is two people with the ability to relate. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. Okay, I relate with my sister, but we're related. <laughs> so that's, but that don't that don't mean I gotta have a relationship with it though. Okay. So, so a lot of times is the biggest issue is lack of trust. That's the biggest issue between the biggest con in a survey done by the Pew Institute. What that what that means is that, and what we have what we have most of the time is when we don't trust somebody. That really means we don't trust ourselves. All right, because something in us projects out. To the other person and in, ter in turn you're coming back and saying why is this person talking about me why are they always saying that i'm cheating because that's that's one of the signs right somebody though you always come the person's always come, always trying to say that you're doing something it's projection gaslight um, dr feels so good because i don't here i go and y'all can tell me if you agree or disagree 
I, I don't know that I agree with that. Say, and maybe I misinterpreted it, but when we don't trust somebody, that means we don't trust them. I, I don't know that I agree with that. Like, I'm well, just, no, 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 I understand what you said. No, you have you have a valid point, Tracy. Okay, let, me, gotcha. let, me, um, let me clarify it. Okay, gotcha. A lot of times, people who don't trust really never, never had the ability to trust. And the reason why they, a lot of people had to, had to, didn't have the ability to trust was because they didn't trust something in themselves. And they refused to take accountability for their shortcomings. So they projected mm -hmm. onto the next that, person. That makes, see that, thank you. That makes more sense to me. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. I can't agree with that either. <laughs> because. The clarification or what he just said, Ann? <laughs> no, no, the, the, the clarification, well, the, what he just said. Okay. I mean, I still trust myself. I don't have any insecurities with 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 myself. I but have you accused it. people of cheating at Anton without without cause, without real without real evidence? Without justification. No, I haven't. But I would say that if that was to come up, it has to be something that was done by the other other person I'm in the, in the relationship with that caused that lack of trust. That's that that's true. In a, in a way, a lot of people, and it goes back to what, what Chocolate Pearl was saying about routines. Women look at men, they study, they study us. Mm -hmm. They study our routines. <laughs> once they figure out our routines, once something is contrary to the routine, you remember that movie, Mr. Um, Good Deeds, or I, or I like to call it Captain Save a Garden Tool, mm -hmm. the Tyler Perry movie? Gabrielle Union's character had Tyler Perry's character down to the second. When he came home, he did the same thing. They, they had intimacy on the same time, same day, every time. And she resented that because she, she knew him. So when he started, when he came in and didn't do that, what did she automatically assume? Yeah, and I'm sorry, Dr. Feelgood, so just answering the, the example that you agreed with me on when I said something about often women misinterpret things and then make decisions, that's exactly what he's saying. So I think you do agree with him, um, what Dr. Feelgood was saying, because it's the same thing that, that I said. When women misinterpret things, it, it's really us that a does that we something in, our, in ourselves. So I, I think you agree. Okay. Because, and, 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 that, and that's what I'm saying, it's not, it, it's not that you're, you're insecure with yourself, but a lot of times it comes from a form of insecurity. Not, not to say that you don't, because if somebody, so I'm sure somebody's in the past has accused you of cheating. Answer. Mm, yeah. They, they can accuse you, yeah. But, lot but that's, but that's what I'm saying though. But if you, if you know you hadn't done anything, for example, back in college, I had a girlfriend named Vera. Oh gosh. I'm bringing back back. Well, I'm telling any, you. Any, anyway, you know, she would always accuse me of cheating. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. I was like one. I was a one woman, a one woman man. And she would always accuse me of cheating. If she saw me tutoring somebody, I was cheating. Mm. If she saw me talking to a female when I was in a when I was in uniform, I was cheating. It got to a point where I couldn't even go to no no frat parties. Cause I was cheating. Turns to find out that she done gave me something that I didn't want. She was cheating. Mm. And that, that's the example, that's the example that I that I that I used. And I, I was salty about that for about 30 years. No cap. <laughs> no cap. She actually apologized. She actually oh, apologized. And you I, said 30 years? That's a long time. Years. Hey, look, I hold a I hold a grudge like a microphone. <laughs> But anyway, you know, I was like, you know, but it, it, it's funny, though, when she apologized, all that, all that hurt and anger, because I was, I wasn't the one out there creeping, but it came back to me. I, I was like, I'm, I'm good after that. But I just bring that up. Apologize. You say you felt better because she a apologized? Lot, a lot better. 30 Even years later. Like giving you 30 something? 30 years later. Yeah, she gave me she gave me the hey, Dre, hey Dre, Kim said, Oh Lord, that's a family trait. We hold a grudge. 
<laughs> yeah. Wait, Look, I hold a grudge like a microphone too, cousin. I understand. Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> you know. I think I, I, I don't, I don't have hey, you that um, ability. I lost. I got you don't off have that, that, that line. Hey, say. I got off that line. I don't. It's too much energy to hold a grudge. Nah, yeah. man, it feels good. It feels <laughs> good. It feels feel real good. Now, but that, like I said, I was young. I was young. I and but. The thing was, it was also it was also a form of projection. Cause guess what I guess what this dumbass did? What? He took off the protection. That oh, was God. your fault. You that's, wanted that's to feel real that's good. What, that's Dr. what I'm saying. No, it, no, no, no. I, I I took I ate that. I ate, and that's why I felt better after she apologized. Because if I went, it was on I, you. You shouldn't. Have, you should have stayed no, covered. No, but listen, no, <laughs> listen, no. I thought I I did the right. I did the right thing and said, look. Yeah, you ate what? I'm with Drake. You ate what? No, no, no. I, I ate that. I, I took that L. <laughs> so you took the blame. Don't L. say you ate that, because that would have been good. Exactly. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the phone like, what? Negatory, Ghost Rider. Negatory. <laughs> I, I didn't start doing anything. But that's what <laughs> 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 He ate what? <laughs> but um, no, no, what happened was. What happened was was that was that you know I went to the I went to the doctor a couple of days later. Um, Dawn, wait, that's when Dwayne was my roommate. Yeah, I remember. I better than when Dwayne was my roommate before we moved to Turnberry. Right. And um, Dwayne's my, Dwayne's my he's he, he, he's crazy. But that's another story. So I went to the clinic, the one that, when it used to be on Harden Street, and. You know, told me what I had. So they said, you need to tell everybody the, the free clinic, the free clinic. I, I, we had no health insurance back then. Went to the free clinic. Um, so I went and told her, and you know what this, this woman told me? She said, oh, that's what my boyfriend gave me. My ex gave me. Mm. Oh. Now that's what I was. She took her present <laughs> and gave uh, the present uh, to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was upset. I said I took that. I took that L because I I didn't protect myself. I took that L. That's what my I, you know, my dumb ass did. And I I I admit it. I've done a lot of dumb things in my life, and I I admit those. That was one of them. <laughs> but um, the thing Definitely. was, the thing the thing was was that, you know, it was it made me think about myself like. Damn, am I am I that bad of a person that somebody got to give me something? That had nothing it, to do with you. Yeah, I know, but that, <clears throat> like I said, I accepted my response, my accountability, my culpability in my own situation. And a lot of times, a lot of times, why the reason long distance relationships don't work is because the farther you are. And the less effort you put in, after a while, it becomes easier to not put in the effort. Mm. To make the effort work, it takes a lot of work. And I know I've been slack on a couple of things. I, I'm not going to add nauseam. Um, I'm taking it from me and bringing it to us. Out of out of the, the three out of five couples that that are currently in a long distance relationship, in about two years, the long distance relationship usually ends in about two years. 20, it dwindles down. It dwindles right away. 20, Twenty-four months. One is the cost. Yeah. We flying. We flying back and forth. That get expensive, especially now. Driving back and forth. What? Yeah. Two. Two. Eventually, somebody's gonna have to move, and the older somebody you gonna get, have to move. Right. The older you get, the less likely <laughs> you are to move. And uh, um also. If it's long distance, when it become a problem with the traveling or you coming to see each other, that means the relationship is dwindling. But right. people continue to hold on to hope when the hope is gone. And you right, have to just they eventually want to, they say, I'm out. One they or the want, other they, have to eventually say, I'm out and be done with it. Because if not, it'll continue lagging and lingering alone and it's nothing there. Right. Exactly. And and a lot of times, but you know, just like in any any close relationship. Finances, finances plays a bigger part oh, than what we mm -hmm. than what we're willing to admit. Mm -hmm. To what we're willing to admit, then, like I said, somebody's got to move. 
And usually people have a hard time leaving somewhere they've been for a long time. Now, I didn't have that much of a problem because I was in the military. I was moving every two to three years. Mm -hmm. So moving to me is not fun. Since, since I've retired, I've moved four times in six years. Now it was back and forth between Virginia and Augusta, but the fact is that I had to pack, I'm, I'm, I've gotten so good at it, I've gotten so used to it that I can pack a, pack a place in a day and, and be gone mm -hmm. and have all that stuff. But the idea is, is that, you know, after about 24 months, um, a lot of relationships either got a crap or get off the pot because it, it starts dwindling from, it starts dwindling from that. But the keys, the keys to keeping a relationship is just like if y'all were across the street, you gotta keep it fresh. Exactly. You gotta be, you gotta be open and you have to acknowledge that, you know, people might be tempted, but you have to, you have to trust that they're strong enough to not give in a temptation. And you have to have the confidence and the, and the trust in yourself that you're not gonna, don't put yourself in positions where you're gonna fall. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times we subconsciously put ourselves in positions to say we didn't mean it, but every step we take is a, is a separate decision where we can turn around. Cause you don't, mm -hmm. I don't know anybody in here can tell me that they slipped and fell in the vagina or, or a penis fell into them. So those are the things, so you know, those are the things that, those are the things that may take, oh, you did? Uh, oh, only if, that, that can what happen only say? if you are, uh, <laughs> look at daddy. Daddy's so silly. <laughs> I hate you because, <laughs> but, but, um. Only if you play a twister. In, clo <laughs> in closing, remember communication is the key. Understanding, understanding that, people do have lives outside of outside of what you do and respect that also make the person feel like they are worth it if they don't feel that they're worth it they're going to have less attraction to you the less attractive they are to you guess what's going to happen they're going to bounce and and the last thing knowing that y'all have to plan together the future, I said that earlier. you got, you got to, you, you can only grow apart or grow together. Distance okay. exacerbates that. If you're for, if you're on different coasts, it's probably not going to work. If you're the next state over, that might work a little better, but you got to plan for the future. Where do you see yourself with that person in five years, 10 years? Mm -hmm. You know, God gives you the glory 20 years. Mm -hmm. So those but things. Excuse me, but even with the longest relationship, when you're saying that, um, should y'all be having, should y'all have a communication of saying when somebody's going to move closer to each other so y'all can be uh, together that's part of the, and not That's, that's part of the planning. For it. Right, that's part of the planning. You gotta, right. if you don't see a future with somebody, then don't waste their time in the present. Right, shake the dirt off your feet and keep if, walking. If you don't. And because a lot of times we use our, our past, if we, if we keep reliving our past, it's going to affect our present and leave us lonely in the future. Yeah. Mm. So on that note, I want to ask y'all, y'all know, if y'all don't know, in October, the last week, the last Saturday of October, we're having a, we're having a um, upscale love for you um, masquerade ball. We're putting that together. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna start next few weeks. I'm gonna start putting out some advertising at, or as they say in Britain, advertisements. Advertisements. I would like to see everybody, I would like to see everybody there. It's gonna be a fine affair. I grown know it's sexy. This is what a grown is sexy. I'm I'm putting together a hotel package. So if you wanna, if you know, if you don't wanna drive eight or nine hours, four hours, we're gonna have you out somewhere to stay. You're gonna come out your own pocket though, or you can hitchhike. But um or y'all can shack up. Yeah, we we would we we're gonna well we we're, we're going to make this an uh, unforgettable event, and we want to ask each and every one of y'all to come or to attend. Y'all can come right afterwards. <laughs> 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 but um, we would like each and every one of y'all to attend. Um, 
the, the Fantastic Four will be there doing, doing our thing. And we want y'all to know that we appreciate each and every one of y'all that are on every week. Um, you know, we're getting better. We're adding, we're getting, we're getting more in depth in conversations and we're not, we're not just yelling at each other. Um, and on that note, I'm gonna give it back to Dr. Fab. Go on, Dr. Fab. Okay. Dr. Fab, before you close, can I say something, please? You can, you can. I would like to apologize for getting out of character because I am trying to do better and change my ways and doing things differently. So I would like to apologize for getting out of character on y'all show. <clears throat> What you, Danny, it's always Danny. What, always. Danny, don't show out now. I just apologize now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we appreciate that, Miss Millie. And that's why I say sometimes we may get a little heated, but understand it's only opinion and <clears throat> everybody has that right. And Danny, we're, uh, anywho. Don't, um, don't talk to Danny no more. No more, Danny. And no more. <laughs> yes, yes. That's okay, Danny. That's okay. Put your pistol Hi, back Sharon. Up, Why are you not talking, Sharon? Sharon's on the show and she's not speaking. What's going on? Sharon, I, she has a new baby because I heard a baby. Sharon? Ain't my baby. It ain't my baby. This time? <laughs> oh, not. Danny? Anyway, I, answer. I you got your it. hand up. Yeah, I, I wanted to say um, about tonight's topic. Um, at the beginning of the show, I was a little bit torn because I couldn't think of uh, uh, being in a long distance relationship. <laughs> but then I remember my best relationship was a long distance relationship. So I, I, I want to say that relationship was You ain't, you ain't seen the best yet. Relationship. You ain't been to Aiken. <laughs> well, uh, a long distance relationship. Is only be only only problem is, is being long distance. Relationship is still between the man and the woman, mm -hmm. and the connection between you two. So if you have a problem with long distance relationship, you're gonna have a problem with local relationship. Mm. So, mm, I don't know now. I don't yes, know. Yes, but. yes, yes. So I'll stick to that because it's all about you. If you can't have a relationship that's long distance, then you can't have one that's close by. It's all about can't have one close person. distance either. Okay, yeah, it, you are the problem. It's not okay. the distance that's the problem. It's you is the problem. Stop it! Stop Put it! Feel good. feel good. Stop it! Feel good. <laughs> anyway, so I, I was I was just thinking throughout the whole time is that the best relationship I ever had was long distance. All right. She stayed in West Palm Beach. I stayed down here in Miami, but we lasted for three and a half years. That's the baby mama, right? No, it's not. Hell no, 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 no. Okay, Miss Millie. Okay, Miss Millie. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Okay. But I was. That's why tonight's answers I had the pros and the cons. The only con I can think of is the distance, because everything okay. else, it was manageable, you know, except for the whole sex part, because <laughs> that's that's long. That's an hour away, but. Everything is manageable. The only reason why one can't be in a long distance relationship is because of yourself. Okay. All right. Well, I take you up on that answer. Well, with that being said, of course, I'm excited each and every time we come on on Thursday nights. I thank everyone for coming on. And Douglas, I don't want you to think that I was chastising because I was not. All I was saying is I love for a man to respect a woman and a woman to respect a man. That's all. That's all was given. And I know Danny was coming on when he heard me start talking. I hear you. What's that you showing me? What you showing us? Ticket. You got us the lottery ticket, babe? He won some money. Like he oh, he take. won't show it to me right, now. You won the lottery? I can't flip the camera, but damn, I'm trying to show you how much. How much? Just tell it. Look, 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 look at that. That's like $0.40. 40 cents. 40 cents. I hit big, baby. 
I say, Danny, that, that's exactly how I feel too when I go to the casino. And I, I, I lose all my money because I put 10 cents. <laughs> Don't be out there. But you know what? I'm taking my 40 now. cents, goddammit. They ain't <laughs> tipping nobody nothing. Okay. All right. But with that being said, everyone, I thank you all for coming. And I'm going to reiterate, reiterate what Dr. Feelgood said about October 29th is going down. We're going to have the best time. And it is, it was a pleasure with meeting everyone face to face to be able to see, feel, touch. Well, I ain't touch, but I saw, feel, you know, you know what I mean. But anyway, we're hoping. I got you got touched. Ooh. Touch you. She got touched. But anyway, I'm taking hoping... pictures and squeezing my tail. What? <laughs> Don't never know who's taking pictures of you. Hey, y'all okay. keep the, the so, date. You keep saying the date, but you fail to mention where. You know, when Savannah. You see this on YouTube. You, my you know, apologies. My apologies. Um, the flyer that's coming out is going to be more in detail. It's going to be in Savannah, but it, it gives the whole place of the location and everything. And I want everyone to know that we are going to make it a weekend affair, not just a one night event, because that we're, like he said, he's going to put together a hotel package. So we're going to do some things. Maybe some of you like to play spades and all that good stuff. Maybe you get in on that Friday, we do a little something, something. Saturday is the event. Then Sunday, we might do a brunch. So we're going to make it well worth your while to come all the way to the wonderful city of, yeah, I see you, Danny. Get it right. Get it right. I see you. But anyway, um, he keep coming in and out. He, he uh, mm. But anywho, as I was saying, we're going to have a marvelous time. And I want to thank each and every one of you all for coming on tonight. We also have a t-shirt that is going to be coming out and we will present that. I, I'm going to have a little challenge for all my panel guests and I'll give you the challenge next week. You make a win one for free because when you see them, you're going to want it and we're going to come out in numbers with it on. So there you have it. And I'm going to allow Chocolate Pearl, Dr. Seductive, if you have anything else to say this evening, you may do so. 53 if, in the house, Sunday, June 10th. My birthday, y'all. Shout okay. me out if you're on Facebook or Instagram. And say happy birthday, Chocolate Pearl. We will. I'll be a 50 we will. Years old. And just three, because I was three. born on June 10th, Freedom Day does not mean that I'm free. <laughs> I'm right. still expensive. Ah. There, there you go. There you go. Keep it that way. All right. And seductive, do you have anything you would like to share? You good? No. Okay. No. So I'm going to turn it to Dr. Feelgood and he can close us completely out because he's the man in charge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been another fun night, another Thursday night. Come out next Thursday, 830 Eastern, Eastern Daylight Savings Time. <laughs> at channel, same bat room, same bat food. Hey, I want to thank each and every one of y'all again. Um, topic was pretty good. I hopefully, I hopefully y'all learned something about about distance, long distance relationships or any relationships. There, we we say they're different, but they're not actually different because you still have to be able to relate to a person, and you still got to grow together, and not apart. Um, I want y'all to want y'all to this weekend enjoy enjoy the weekend. Got a three day weekend coming up. Don't run in traffic with scissors. Don't <laughs> oh, one more thing to all the men. If you are a father, happy Father's Day in advance. Enjoy your family. Yes. To all the Get good up. fathers. Happy um, Father's Day, Anson, guys. Father's Douglas, Day. Malik, feel good, Danny. I know Danny or daddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Danny. Day. Yeah, <laughs> <man. Dude. laughs> this, Thank he you, is man. really that He's going to be at the ball. He crazy. Yes. Please. Happy Big Father's love. Day in advance from Upscale Love for you. And I will definitely put something out there for you all because I love honoring great men and women. So with that being said, I'm going to say smooches. 
and I'm signing off. Good night.